Hello, I'm Stephen Michael Hawley, and I'll be your guide to the Six Bridges. Six Bridges is an exercise created by Stephen Elliott, author of The New Science of Breath and developer of the breathing method known as coherent breathing. A quick note before we go any further, while this recording may be used in an upright body position, it is optimized for a horizontal body position. So please recline or lie flat on your back for the duration of the exercise. For more information regarding the Six Bridges exercise, please visit sixbridges.net. Six Bridges is a method that involves conscious, coherent breathing and relaxation of certain anatomical zones, or what Stephen has termed bridges. The term bridge refers to the fact that we are able to use these points to affect conscious change in the state of our autonomic nervous system. And with this change, changes in muscle tension, blood flow, and overall autonomic nervous system status. In this regard, bridges bridge our conscious somatic nervous system to our unconscious automatic or autonomic nervous system. Another way to think of it is that a bridge is a knob or lever that we can use to modify the unconscious functioning of the body. Bridges are very special in this regard. While Stephen has identified 10 bridges, they can be generalized into six primary anatomical zones. One, the face. Two, the tongue and throat. Three, the hands. Four, the diaphragm and intercostals. Five, the pelvic floor. And six, the feet. What makes these zones very special is that they possess explicit dual control. Dual control refers to the fact that while we have very fine conscious control over these areas, when we are not employing them consciously, the unconscious mind controls them automatically and to a very fine degree. Why? Because these are the parts of the body that we use every day in order to live and function. Let's consider the hands, for example. The hands are capable of very gross movement. For example, picking up a book. At the same time, the hands are capable of threading a needle and playing Mozart. By performing these complex feats with the hands, we build familiarity. In neuroscientific terms, use builds the neural network associated with both motor control and our sense of the hands. Six Bridges employs this familiarity to lead the body into a very deep state of relaxation, what we might call internal relaxation, specifically relaxation of the vascular system, the vast network of arteries and veins inside each of us. You may know that the autonomic nervous system controls vascular dimensions in real time by contracting and relaxing the layer of smooth muscle of which blood vessels are made, thereby managing blood flow throughout the body. However, over time, stress and resultant tension rob us of this subtle control. And when it does, our arteries and veins remain in a chronic state of tension and constriction. One name we have for this condition is hypertension. Hypertension refers to a state of chronic vascular tension. Now it is one thing to relax the gross skeletal muscles of the body. Most of us know how to do this, at least to some degree. It is another to gain access to and relax fine muscle motor units throughout the body. When we achieve this deep state of relaxation, arteries and veins throughout the body open and close under fine autonomic control, coincident with breathing. If you're familiar with the theory of coherent breathing, you know that when we breathe coherently, 
a large volume of blood enters the lungs via the right heart during inhalation. When we exhale, an equal volume of blood exits the lungs via the left heart, making its way into the aorta and arterial tree. This phenomenon is referred to as the respiratory arterial pressure wave. When we also relax deeply, the autonomic nervous system augments this wave action by increasing arterial dimensions coincident with exhalation and increasing venous dimensions coincident with inhalation, thereby facilitating the flow of oxygenated blood to the extremities coincident with exhalation and the flow of carbon dioxide laden blood to the lungs coincident with inhalation in a wave-like manner. This then is our goal, to breathe and relax in such a way as to cultivate and maintain this respiratory arterial pressure wave all the time, circumstances permitting. The Six Bridges exercise teaches us how to accomplish that objective. The exercise has two primary aspects, breathing coherently and consciously relaxing bridges. We will begin with breathing. Why? Because if we are not breathing relatively slowly and deeply, the autonomic nervous system will not allow us to relax. Coherent breathing establishes the necessary conditions for relaxation to occur and relaxation facilitates deeper more rhythmic respiration. Here, you can see that there is a synergistic effect, but slower, deeper, more rhythmic breathing comes first. So let's begin. The recording that has been playing very softly in the background consists of two aspects or phases. There are six descending notes, followed by six ascending notes. Exhale for the duration of the six descending notes, and inhale for the duration of the six ascending notes. The chime signals that a change from inhalation to exhalation is imminent. Let's just listen and breathe for the next few minutes. I will be back to assist you with the six bridges. <laughs> 